We are all in the business of human impact, and we define this as businesses focused on putting people and the planet first by innovating for good. And we are here today because we are partners united by our focus on people-centric technologies aimed at making the world a better place. Our world starts with our employees and our customers, and we want to create a ripple effect, scaling empathy to everyone that our businesses touch. I am Bridget McAdoo, our Chief Sustainability Officer here at Genesis, and I have the pleasure of being joined today by John Hernandez, our Executive Vice President and General Manager of Genesis Multi-Cloud, Tony Lorentzen, the Senior Vice President and General Manager of Intelligent Engagement at Nuance, a Microsoft company, and Dilnison Bayel, Accenture's Managing Director, Head of Advanced Customer Engagement for Europe. Welcome, everyone. Hello, good to see you. So let's start. I want to ask by... I want to start by asking, what is the business of human impact? What does it mean to you personally? And how does it show up in your role every day? Let's start with you, John. You know, leading a global team of engineers and product managers around the world, you got to really utilize the tools at your disposal to be engaging and, and uh, really think about the human element of having that type of uh, organization work together to benefit our customers. Mm -hmm. And when you see that technology come out, through that development process and start taking into account not only our customers and their employees, but also their customers, it really has a ripple effect of how profound the software is and the cloud services are to deliver that. And, and when you think about COVID, you know, through COVID, we immediately went to work from home. And that includes call center agents that utilize our platform. So there's many different facets to the people element of our business and technology for sure. I love how you talked about that integration because for us at Genesis, we truly tried to make sure that when we think about the human impact, that it's this cross-functional, integrated, holistic approach to embedding sustainability into everything we do so that it's like an organic extension of how we work and live. So Dennis, and I would love to hear, how do you look at it at Center? So I see four elements, which is empathy, uh, which is understanding human, being in the context of the human, and how they need to live their lives in an easy way. The other is enablement, which is how you're really making things um, easier for them, help them and solve for good. And also the engagement, which is more like how they're engaging with their lives, how they're engaging with others, how they're using technology. And the fourth one is ESG consciousness, because more and more, I think we are all aware of that unless we care about our planet, it's not going to work out in the long term. So both for the clients and for the employees, but also overall planet, how we are really making it like 360. And it's kind of the, in a way, the virtuosity of bringing data, bringing technology, making it meaningful and valuable for all the different uh, parts of the world. My role at Nuance, uh, Microsoft, is you know how do we leverage AI, and how do we leverage AI to improve not only the agents, uh, as John was talking about, making their lives easier because you know businesses are made out of people and humans, uh, but it also make consumers' lives easier, right? So how do we automate things? How do we create customer experiences that they want to go back and do and not dread doing? Uh, and that's the role that that I have in really making it more powerful and easier for consumers to in interface with brands. You know, be able to get the information that they're looking for when they need it, transactions, simple questions, um, just to make that like you know their lives that much easier. Absolutely. I mean, we've all made goals and commitments across our businesses to address things like climate change or equity, because we know that shifts society. But it requires commitment and true commitment to be successful, and because we know that alone we can only do but so much. But together, collectively, we can do a lot. So let's discuss why we all think it's necessary to raise our collective standards when it comes to people and planet. So let's start with you, Tony. Well, first of all, not every company can do everything, right? So right. partnerships and the partnerships that we have with not only Genesis, but also Accenture is just critically important, right? Because we're, we all bring different skills and different you know, points of view to, to the uh, place. So uh, when we think about people, um, you know, John mentioned before about the, the whole you know, COVID and when COVID hit, you know, when COVID hit, um, you think about what happened to organizations. Organizations had to take their, their operations and re make them remote. They had retail um, store clerks who actually became agents. So 
you know, the, what we provided to help those people become and do their jobs in that new world, right? So that is just one example. Who knows what's going to happen in the future? So we as partners need to be able to adapt and, you know, be able to use our technologies in ways we probably didn't envision before. That's really the power of partnerships. So as Accenture, we define our role as delivering on the promise of technology and human ingenuity. And together with that, we have the 360 value meters, which we try to make sure we care about not only the financial, not only the experience, but everything all together every time we work. And it's, the, it's I think, only doable if we are all partners and we elevate the speech because it's not only financial, it's the experience. It's the inclusion and diversity. It's the growth and innovation. It's the talent and culture and sustainability. So every time I think we come together and deliver things for our clients, it's all these elements needs to sit together and we need to be attentive and aware of the impact we are creating for, for all the 360. Yes. So speaking of this whole connective tissue of partnership and empathy, I would love to have, dig a little bit deeper about how partnerships like, you know, the one that we, and Genesis and Microsoft and Nuance have, how does that, how does that help our customers and our businesses? I would love to hear you, both of your perspectives on the connectivity of those partnerships and the impact it has on our businesses and our customers. Well, well for, for, you know, Microsoft and Genesis, it's all about business outcomes, right? Mm-hmm. So it's really um, is understanding customers, what their needs are, the brands that we're supporting, and depending on the outcome, we, we, we both have different you know, technologies that we bring to the table. And it's, it's the, that's the power of the partnership, which is we can go to a customer, understand their business, what their need for their business outcomes are, and then leverage the, the power of both Microsoft and Genesis to be able to do that. So, Yeah, when you, when you think about the, the journey orchestration for consumers and business customers alike, you know, there's multiple technologies that come together to facilitate that. Um, and a big foundational piece is between Microsoft Nuance and, and Genesis Multi-Cloud, where you start thinking about teams and dynamics and CCAI uh, from Microsoft as core technologies that are important to that outcome, including Azure as the cloud platform to run it all on. And then the skills-based routing orchestration of digital and proactive engagement and and tying in all the reporting and data that goes into that from Genesis Multi-Cloud, that really creates the foundation of it. Now, there's other ancillary applications and Accenture playing a big role in that of the consulting services to really help a customer on their individual journey of what technology do they have today? What needs to be augmented? How do you integrate into those things? And then bringing in the Microsoft and and Genesis portfolio integrated from the get-go is gonna streamline the adoption of that new transformative technology. The more we are able to make these partnerships and collaborations, the, the easier for our customers to configure the big picture because otherwise, and there's the need, we are trying to come together, but it needs to be really pre-agreed what's the best kind of components, how we can adapt to different starting points because everybody has been doing a lot of investments. But the way we see the picture, the, we, the way we see the fuller things, not only from our angles, I think accelerates a lot of the improvement going forward because otherwise things are so fragmented there's a lot of complexity on managing it. And even though they're willing to deliver the best, it's getting so much cost, effort, and energy, and it's never getting to the full. I think the partnerships like this, making sure we are kind of coming together, agreeing on what's the best, and configuring it based on the case of the client, helps also acceleration of their results. You know, we're all coming to the table, and as you talked about, like for the, for the customer, bringing it all together, right? Yeah. So we all come from different points of view all bringing our different technologies and yeah. all coming from different, you know, set of experiences. So, and then from, from a customer point and customer point of view, that's just immensely powerful. Because otherwise they try to get the best of breed or uh-huh. they try to do different things in different phases, mm-hmm. but now we are able to help also what's the right way to do it. So I want to end it with uh, the way we began with a personal professional types of question. So what, do, what does success look like when we're talking about the business of human impact, and how will each of you individually, personally contribute to it? So I'll start with, um, you know, one of the things I always say is, you know, my role in, you know, 
with Microsoft Nuance is how do I leverage AI and make customer experience something people love to do, customer service something people love to do, right? That is just my mission, what we're out to do. How do we leverage AI? How do we leverage everything we talked about here about empathy and prediction, right? Not make customer service something that someone dreads to do, right? right. Just completely opposite. And then how do we just use our, all of our technologies, our biometrics to you know, seamlessly authenticate somebody, our conversational AI to automate tasks, our predictive capabilities to you know, even call out or message to somebody so that they don't forget to do something. So doing all of those things and just making customer service something someone loves to do. For me, it's the going back to our purpose in terms of bringing technology and human ingenuity together and making the kind of connecting the dots for creating a better world for the future. And for it, it can be our customers, it can be our customers, customers, their employees for everyone. But really bringing together the different pieces, making all the kind of dreams, professional dreams come true and enabling those. Yeah, I, I think of it of, of a few places. One is our customers um, and their employees, because that's going to facilitate their growth and service of their customer. And so it's how do we think about them first as the anchor, if you will, of everything that we do, because that's what we wake up every morning as engineers thinking about how can we make that better. And then and then the second is is our partners, like folks here of like, how do we interact with each other? And I'm 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 not kidding you when I say it's exhilarating to get on the whiteboard and just dream about things, do hackathons together and think about the world in the future and, and test some things with customers and what they what they see in that. And then the final thing is right back to our employees in the company and you know, sharing with them how customers are using the technology, giving them purpose around the things they're developing and the hard work that they're underway of the coding and testing and delivery of these cloud services. So it's a fun market to be in and it's great to see the advancements that we're pulling together as partners here. Well, I'm extremely appreciative. Our, our theme this year for our sustainability report is join us on the journey. And all of you have joined me today to talk about this business of human impact. Thank you all again. And thank you for coming. Thank you. Fantastic. Thank you. Thank you.